Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Dr. Shamma Babakar, a specialist dermatologist in Doctors Medical Center. Today I would like to talk about the effects of Ramadan on eczema and psoriasis. Uh, for the purpose of this talk, I will be referring to fasting in Ramadan as intermittent fasting solely for ex- inclusivity. Uh, let's have a look at both these conditions. Eczema and psoriasis are inflammatory skin disorders. Um, they are quite a handful because they are long-standing and they frequently have fluctuations. So first about eczema, what do we know about eczema? Eczema is basically dryness of the skin. It is caused by a deficient oil barrier. Normally our skin secretes natural oils and these form a protective barrier against the environment and organisms. A decrease in the oils results in a weak barrier and it results in loss of fluids, sensitivity to allergens and exposure to organisms. This causes an inflammation and an itchy, sensitive, irritable rash results. A common cause of flare-ups in eczema is the use of highly fragrant colored detergents and uh, the incomplete rinsing of clothes uh, results in a sensitization of the skin that comes in contact with the soap residues uh, that are usually in the seams of clothing. Uh, So the food is not usually a trigger for eczema, but it has been shown that fasting is beneficial. Next it's about psoriasis. Psoriasis is a skin disorder, but it has also been uh, known to affect other organs such as nails, joints, the heart. In psoriasis, there is a dysfunctional immune response and this results in a faster skin growth. The skin cells that replicate, they don't shed off as normally and they pile up on the surface. People with psoriasis have an increased risk of uh, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and um, dyslipidemia. So flare-ups in psoriasis are commonly linked with stress, medications, and uh, infections. So how is intermittent fasting beneficial for eczema and psoriasis? The recent studies have shown that diet has a beneficial role in the management of inflammatory conditions. It can be beneficial in controlling the disease as well as preventing uh, flare-ups and recurrences. We know that uh, intermittent fasting it increases the blood flow to organs and uh, it uh, results in uh, increased oxygenation and a faster his- tissue regeneration. Intermittent fasting also um, helps with um, antioxidants. It, uh, it gets rid of toxins that would otherwise provoke an inflammatory response. It has been shown to regulate blood sugar levels and thereby improves gut bacteria, which also would have in, uh, inflammatory action otherwise. It can help in uh, wound healing. It can help uh, in uh, decreasing aging of the skin. So how do we uh, add the benefits to fasting in Ramadan? So we can drink plenty of water. We can focus on fruits and vegetables and uh, avoid uh, junk foods and um, especially all those sweet foods that we uh, would enjoy. Um, We can also reduce the oil content um, in, in our foods. We can focus on whole grain foods rather than processed foods and it has been shown to uh, be beneficial to use omega-3 fatty acids instead of omega-6 fatty acids, particularly in case of psoriasis. This is all that I have for you today, so I hope this, uh, these hints are beneficial to you. I wish you a blessed Ramadan and stay in the best of health.